All right, we're going to be watching The Agile Bear, who's going to be playing Doomfist, and then Ramatra, and then Diva. Uh, this is on Ilios. It is Platinum 5 on PC. <clears throat> 2,000 hours in the game, and I cannot climb out of Plat to Diamond slash Master's Tank. Help me, please. As the title says, it's Season 9. I cannot climb out of Plat as Tank. I climbed with Brig to Master's a couple months ago, watching awkward YouTube videos, but I cannot do as Doomfist, mostly the swaps to Ram and Arisa when needed. I think there's something in my playstyle that I'm missing, but... Maybe I have a low self-awareness of my tank gameplay. <clears throat> what I think the issue is, is that I'm not understanding his doom when to go from frontline messing with tank to backline getting a big punch kill. I'm going to add some replay codes today. If anyone wants to help me, I would appreciate it tons. So, um, I usually do Doomfist uh, reviews. Uh, this is going to be a very short <laughs> uh, section of Doomfist, though, before you end up swapping off, so uh, it's fine. Um, let's kind of play it out, and we'll get to it. I've already seen the, the replay. It's long, seven minutes long. So, you're going to go and take the high ground. Okay, this is fine. Now, at this moment in time, you know basically the whole enemy lineup uh, for a combination of sound and, and visual cues. Um, so let's let's look at the enemy lineup, okay? Really important as uh, looking at the enemy lineup um, and understand what's your job, okay? As Doomfist, is it your job to deal with the Orisa? Not really. I mean, she outdamages you. She can interrupt your block. She can eat all your shots. She can knock you off course. You know, Doomfist by Lord or uh, Orisa as Lord was designed as a, as a Doomfist counter, right? So like, should you be spending time going after the Orisa? No. Hanzo, should we go after Hanzo? Yeah, Hanzo's great, right? He has pretty terrible mobility. He doesn't do a lot of damage, right? So and you know, it's very easy to track down. So yes, great, excellent. Should be going after the Hanzo. Mercy, well, I can't do a lot against Mercy. Pretty much can never punch or slam her because she's always in the air. So. Opportunistically, yeah, maybe I can go for her, but generally speaking, not going to do a whole lot. <coughs> so, Kiriko. Well, Kiriko's a great target, right? I mean, she's sim similar to Hanzo. She's not, like, that mobile. Obviously, she can, go, she can like, run away from me with Swift Step, but I can also chase her with my cooldowns, right? I have very short cooldowns on my, uh, for my mobility. I have very flexible mobility. I can chase her pretty much anywhere she goes. She can't beat me straight up. She can't do anything about my block. So, yeah, no, she's a really great target to be going after. And then Echo. Well, same similar reason for, for Mercy. Can I do a whole lot against the Echo? Not really. I mean, maybe when she transforms, I can. But in general, I probably am not going to be engaging with her very much. She's going to be flying high up, in the, high up in the air. You know, just, that's fine. Just kind of ignore her. I think a common mistake that people have playing tank is they think, I need to fight everyone in the opposing team. That's not true. You can win this game by bullying the Kiriko and the Hanzo out of this game. Right? If you just ignore everybody else, but you just keep sending the Kiriko and Hanzo back to spawn, you're going to win. I can virtually guarantee, like, 99% of the time, you are going to win if you can just do that. So you don't have to worry about everybody else on the team. Just focus on, hey, who's actually vulnerable on the opposing team that I can kill? Because it's not going to be everybody, typically, right? I mean, if it is, great, excellent, right? But usually they're going to start switching off, and, you know, you're going to run to, like, the Briggs and, uh, <coughs> you know, the Pharaohs, etc. And you're like, well, I can't do a lot against those, and, and so be it, right? And again, there are opportunities where you can kill the Orisa, for example. But, you know, if I have a choice on who to engage on, like you do as a tank at the start of every fight, I do not want to be engaging in the Orisa. That is a complete waste of my time, so I don't want to do that. All right. So now that we established, we know who we're generally focusing on. We're focusing on the Hanzo, we're focusing on the Kiriko, we're going to scout out where they are, and we want to bully them nonstop. Every chance we get, right, keep going after them over and over and over again and prevent them from doing anything. If the Hanzo can't get any picks, and the Kiriko can't do her job by healing or getting picks, I'm going to win this. That's all I got to do, right? And if the Orisa keeps spending her time chasing me around, even better. I'm creating value just by being super annoying. So we start with that angle. The next thing we need to think about is... Is there anybody who can interrupt my block? That's a huge part about playing Doomfist is, is there anyone who can interrupt my block? Because if they can, I'm going to die, right? If I don't realize that, I'm going to die. Because very often as Doomfist, you do situations where you put yourself in where you're like, okay, I will live here because I have block. But if suddenly you don't have block, you die. And then when you die, you throw fights, okay? So looking at this, who here can interrupt my block? Can Echo? No. Can Kiriko? No. Can Mercy? No. Can Hanzo? No. Can Eurisa? Yes. So, I need to be extremely careful to never rely on block to stay alive near the Eurisa. Because she's going to javelin me out of block, and then I'm going to die. Right? The things that I just covered, right? The last, I don't know, it was like three minutes or so of t talking. You need to have done all of this in your head the moment you know the entire composition. 
right? You say you have 2,000 hours, right? I don't know how many hours of that is on Doomfist, but if you are a Doomfist player, the second you see their whole comp, you already have a game plan. Right? You think, hey, these heroes are going to bully, these heroes I'm going to avoid, I can use block in these situations, I can't use block in those other situations. You need to know all that. And not just Doomfist, right? All the tanks, same way, right? If I'm playing Winston, the moment I see, oh, they have Reaper, Torb, you know, uh, <coughs> Brig, oh, shoot, this is going to suck, I got to stay away from them, right? Or whatever it ends up being. So, like, that instant awareness of, like, this is the hero they've selected, this is how it plays against my hero... You need to know that, especially with how many hours you have in the game. The biggest advantage you have over other players is experience. You should have a tremendous amount of experience and be able to rely on experience to make good decisions. Right? So we kind of established like Doomfist 101 here, right? Like if you don't know these things, you can't be playing Doomfist. Alright. So let's see how this goes. We're on high ground right now. What do I see? Well, I know there's an Orisa here, as I already mentioned, can't target her. There is a uh, Mercy here, and the Echo is, is is above in the sky. All right, well, obviously, I mean, I can't really go after the, the, the Echo at all, right? Orisa, I don't want to go after. Mercy's like kind of standing still right now, but she's going to fly up really quickly. So probably don't need to do a whole lot. At this moment, honestly, I can just chill, right? I don't need to force anything, because my team is getting in position. I have great mobility, right? You see how three of your teammates are still not even here. I just gotta play slow, right? Just just play slow, right? Poke a little bit. Don't do anything crazy. It's fine. You don't need to do anything right now. Right, echo. Again, not your job, right? Not your job. This is not a thing. Nobody in your team expects you to go after this echo. I cannot emphasize this enough. Nobody in your team expects you to deal with this echo. It is not your job. Don't worry about it. If she makes herself vulnerable, great. She is not vulnerable right now. She's full health in her back line, and your team's not even here to support you. This echo is a waste of your time. Don't even don't even look at it. Right? Okay, punch the go fine, right? So now, because of sort of what you've done, three of them are pushed back, your team's gonna be able to cap the point pretty freely in 10 seconds, just chill, right? Just chill, don't take a lot of damage, play slow. All right, we're gonna slam in. So, core part about Doomfist. Doomfist has two movement abilities and he has block. So the <coughs> this is the way it works, right? So we're gonna call it like, you know, A, right, is movement ability one, right? B is movement ability too, because it doesn't really matter, matter which way you do it, right? Whether or not it's punch to go in or slam to go in, right? You just use the other one to get out, right? So it's either punch in, slam out, right? Or slam in, punch out. Either way, it's fine. Or you can do punch or slam in and then use the other one, right? Whatever, you know, if you used A to go in, you use B while you're in as well and use block to stay alive. As previously mentioned, you can't use block here because the Orisa is right next to you. So if you're going to if you're going to slam here, and then you're going to use punch to try to kill somebody, then you're going to die here, because after that, they're all going to focus you down and burn you, in which case the only way you can survive is by popping block, and then you get javelined out of it, and then you die. So, if you're going to do this, fine, but you slammed in, which means you need to punch to get out, right? You can do shot, 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 and punch out if you want to. That's still fine, but I'm just noting that you need to be using the punch here to get out. You notice how you didn't use punch to get out? Right? Again, this is this is like this is Doomfist 101, right? Like I I don't know like what Platinum 5 looks like maybe in your <coughs> wherever this is. I would just based on the names maybe maybe not the US, maybe maybe the US or North America rather. But for you to use a mobility cooldown in and then use your second mobility cooldown not to get out, but to be, go further in, and to expect block to save you here is a throw. That tells me right away you don't know what you're doing on Doomfist. It, it's not like a hard like if you just think of the, the rhythm of Doomfist of like okay one cooldown in shot 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 one cooldown out. That's like Doomfist 101 level gameplay. But you committed here for some reason, right? Slam and then you punch. Does it look like your team can help you right now? The Orisa's going to completely zone everybody, right? Now you're stuck here. And what's your plan? Right? You die. That's what happens. Like, there's no other way to spin this. This is a throw. And you may think, oh, like, you know, it's one, it's just one mistake, right? Well, first of all, there are only about three fights on control points, right? Three to four, depending on how fast people play, right? You just threw away one of those fights. So you essentially lost, and if it's a, it, since this game's a 2-0, there's only about six fights over the course of this. You just threw one-sixth of all the fights in the game because of this. Why? Right? Like, just why? Think about it. Like, what 
what was the angle here that caused you to do this? Because it's not the death that really bothers me about this, right? It's the fact that it doesn't demonstrate any plan of effectiveness. Because let's say you did punch the Kiriko here. Do you think the Kiriko dies? Right? She just suicides herself. And then she starts shooting you in the face. And then you pop block and then you die. Like, you're not going to kill this Kiriko from full health on this 50 damage, like, uh, slam, right? And then you're going to do, what, 200 damage with this punch? Is that what you think is going to happen? This is throwing. <laughs> this is, like, on 100% throwing. Your team cannot play around this. There's just there's just no way. Like, if I saw this happen, I, I would literally be, like, watching, like, as the man, I'd be like, I, we're going to lose the game, Right? Because it's not like, oh man, you know, like, I, you know, I hit the ceiling or something I didn't mean to, and I landed out of position or something like that, or like I tried to punch my way out and someone got in the way. It, it, you just literally just jumped in and suicided like instantly. So, uh, I, I don't really know. Like, it's very confusing. All right, so we come back over here. That's fine. So, looking at the situation, what do we got? Well, we can see the Kirikos over here. So can we bully her? Ah, oh, she's next to your Risa. That's not a great target, right? You can maybe see Mercy. <coughs> you can't really see Mercy, right? So you don't know where Mercy is. You see there's an Arisa. You can hear the Echo here left, and you can hear the Hansel to the left. So who's vulnerable here right now? Is it is it the three targets who are really far away? No, right? It's this guy. This guy right here. That's who you need to be targeting, right? This Hanzo right here is the one that you need to kill. Because who's going to save him? The only way that he can be saved here is if the Kiriko, right, swift steps over to him and suzes him. Great! Both of the heroes that I need to target have, are suddenly together, and I'm in great shape. And the one hero who can disrupt my block is way too far away. So what you need to identify right now is, okay, I can hear slash see the Hanzo right now through the grate. Just go after the Hanzo. Any way you want to do it, right? You want to come to the left, you want to jump out this way and try to punch him in, whatever you want to do. Anything you do as long as you target the, as long as you target the Hanzo. As a reminder, you can hear the Hanzo, you can hear see your Hanzo, see the Hanzo. Where are you going? Right? Like, this is what's going to rocket you up 5, 10 ranks, is just take a second and think, what's my plan here? Because I paused this in mid-slam. Again, where are you going? I don't know. I have literally no idea where you're going to right now. What are you doing here? Does this help your team win? Right? Let's look at this from the third person review, right? Does this look like a Doomfist that's helping his team win the game? What are you doing over here? Are you thinking, oh, I'm going to create an off angle as Doomfist or something? I mean, is that necessary? <laughs> like, you had the Hanzo here as, like, a vulnerable target, right? Like, like, the Hanzo's here the whole time. He's still on the front line. You could still engage on the Hanzo, right? And just blast him. Okay, now where am I going? Like, like truly, what are we doing right now? <laughs> I, I have no idea. I can't even guess. I have no idea what you're trying to do right now, right? Then you slam over here. Okay, you try to pump the Teresa off. Fine, right? But, like, why don't I go for any of the other heroes that are actually vulnerable and killable? Like, look at this time that you're spent trying to kill, right, <coughs> this Arisa or whatever the heck's going on in point. Like, you could, for example, go after the Echo right now, who may not have flight. Yeah, she doesn't have flight for two more seconds. Like, you could be going for the Echo. <coughs> you could be going for the Kiriko. You could be going for the half health Mercy. Mm -hmm. But why Why am I targeting them? Okay, finally, your team targets, like, the actual vulnerable person on the team. All right, so Risa's going to spin into me. So... You try to slam, okay, fine, whatever, you get picked up, no big deal. Right? I, I mean, I think it would have blocked immediately, but fine. Alright, so, you lost one, Echo Pop clone, probably not a lot that you can do here. You miss the punch, okay, you get punched out, you get stunned, I, I don't understand why you didn't slam behind the tower. Like, you're clearly in trouble right now, why don't you slam backwards to your support? Like, why are you going over here? Like, this puts you in <coughs> in more danger, but okay, fine. Alright. Whoa, wait. Why did we cancel? Right? 
Like the Kiriko just switched up in front of us. Like this is your moment. Like she, like Suzu has been popped. Just wait it out and then release right now. And then this is a kill. Oh wait, did you, did you hit the mercy? What the heck? Did she fly in front of you? Okay, okay, okay. Fair, 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 fair. All right, we hit the can't hit the mercy. Right, not your fault. You hit the mercy. Oh, great. Okay, we'll take it. So mercy super low. Well, I mean, it's tricky. I mean, you could try to slam. I don't have a great feel for exact distance, but you could try to slam over this and try to kill the Mercy and walk out. Uh, you try it, but... All right, you're in trouble. You're dead. Fine. Fine. Okay, that's right. Let's reset. We gave up on Doomfist. But why did we give up on Doomfist? Right? You're like halfway to your ultimate. Why am I switching to Vermontra right now? Like, is it is Doomfist unplayable in this situation? I don't think so. I think Doomfist is fine. Like, I don't get I don't get what caused you to suddenly have to swap here just because you're being unsuccessful. You're not being unsuccessful because Doomfist is unplayable. You're being unsuccessful because you suck at Doomfist, <laughs> right? Like, that's the emphasis here is you're not like, it's not like, oh, their team is filled with like Brig and Sombra. No, you're just playing poorly. And if you want to get better at Doomfist, then keep playing Doomfist even when you're playing poorly, right? The goal should not be, oh, I want to climb to, you know, diamond by any means necessary. The goal should be, I need to get better at the heroes that I want to play. You know, if you're going to be Ramatra Rain, fine, be Ramatra Rain. Op then open games as Ramatra. But don't open games as Doom, and as soon as things are going wrong, being like, oh, I'm going to stop playing Doom now, because then you're never going to get any better. Like, you have to play Doom, even when you're sucking at Doom, in order to get better at Doom. That's just the way improving at skills works. I will note, I'm going to go back here for a second. So you're going to remember a time where we're going to be targeting the Echo, okay? Let's look at the, you're shooting at the Echo. Hello? Wait, I got to change color. Hello? You're like th three to four body lengths away from this echo right now. Okay, that one is at least close-ish, yeah. What is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> I... I... I hate to break it to you, but unless you play maybe Winston, there is no tank that you can get away with on climbing if your aim is this level of bad, right? I have to be very blunt with you. This is horrendous. You're not even in the ballpark with most of those shots, right? And it's not just those. Sometimes yeah, people have trouble aiming up. Like up is an unusual angle for people to be shooting at, just like down, right? People usually shoot at level targets, but you have this problem all the time your aim is a huge problem. You will never get to diamond unless you improve your aim, right? <clears throat> In fact, you use your gun, your like hand cannon, so little. I wonder if you're actually just used to like not hitting a lot of shots with it, right? Shots on tank. Okay, great. Things are fine. So you get eligible charge right now. So that shot's completely missing. That shot is completely missing. That shot. There is not even an enemy here, right? Like you just shot here. The nearest enemies are over here. What? How? I... You can't be doing this, right? You're like, oh, like, do you want help? I, I, I can't, I, I can't frame this any other way. You need to get better at aiming. And again, this is not just aiming, aiming. This is also just trigger discipline. That, that last shot you fired, there's nowhere even close to it. <laughs> like, it's not like you thought, oh, there's a chance this shot could could land, there was zero chance of that shot landing, right? Look, this. what is this shot? Like, this shot, the reset was still coming from your left when you fire, right? Like, I, it, this is going to be a mass, and then you fire another shot into the wall. So, yeah, aim, definitely a problem. Okay, so let's go back to the, let's go back to Ramatra. So, I'm going to be honest, when I saw you swap to Ramatra, I thought this is going to be even worse than Doomfist. Because if you open as Doomfist, then Doomfist is probably your main, which means he's probably your best hero. If you're swapping from whatever your main hero is, you're probably swapping to a hero that's even worse, which means, wow, your Doomfist play already looked very weak, so your Ramatra play is probably going to look even worse. 
Well, let's find out. All right, we're coming up here. So. All right, we're staffing. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, there's an echo here. We're, okay, uh, we should be extremely careful right now. This beam instantly kills you. Right? <coughs> echo beam does 175 damage per second when you're under 50% health. This echo beam will kill you in one second. She's just whiffing this right now because she's backing up. But I'm just noting that you just did not seem to realize that you were in grave danger of dying right there. So, you have 200 health right now. Why are we pushing? Does this feel like the time to push? When we have, you know, 20%, 25% of our health? Why are we pushing right now? Why don't we just wait? Like, you got you got a support coming up who's trying to heal you. You got a Hanzo in your back line that you could get an easy pick here. Your Moira's still coming. Why are we pushing right now? Why are we pushing? Why are we pushing? I'm repeating these things so that when you play your game, you can remember my voice, right? Saying, why are we pushing right now? And you will think, hey, maybe I should look behind me and check, do I have a team? Do I have supports? Do I even look at my health bar? Because from the enemy team's perspective, you look like you are throwing. Like, if I saw a 200 health Robotcher walking towards me, I don't think, I'm scared, the tank is coming at me. I think, hey, breakfast. I'm just gonna kill you, and then your team is not gonna be able to do anything, and then we win. Like, this this is not a thing that you should be doing. Like, there's not a rush. There's 30% left on the point, right? You can get one fight here for sure. You just definitely cannot be suiciding your life away at this moment in time. There are four enemies right now around you. Again, they didn't attack you. You chose to fight them. You walked into a 1v4. There's no reason to do this. There's no plan. There's, like, no sense of, like, higher level thought here as to like what is going on like you're extremely lucky to not be dead right now <coughs> so for the record when you're extremely low and you realize you made a mistake just hold block right block reduces what like 75 80 <coughs> percent damage it effectively quadruples your current health so at this moment in time instead of 366 you'd be at like 1200 plus health which would be phenomenal but instead i'm trying to fight right now but like I, you can't win you're at 230 health like, you're gonna die here if you try to force this fight. Or you put shield to try to stay alive. I would note that after you throw the shield, you're trying you're clearly trying to shoot him with the staff, right? You're trying to shoot the echo with the staff. But instead of shooting the echo with the staff, you are shooting the ground right now. You just fired 23 ammo into the ground. It's like impossible to win games with like the the aim level that you are right now i don't know if it's different than other games right i'm not watching your other games i'm just noting that when i see this i i just i i, I can't imagine like for example if if i swapped with you right but i was able to make my own decisions my own game sense ability usage but i had your level of aim i still don't think i could win the game because the aim is like grossly off target right and i think a huge part of this is simply trigger discipline versus like the aim itself you're firing when you literally have no chance of attacking right it's like if i shot right now this is not an aim problem that i'm missing it's there's no visible targets it's a trigger discipline problem i need to wait till there's actually a target on my screen near my crosshair before i start shooting all right we're gonna walk over your team manages to touch it okay but like you can't possibly win this right this is like a two on five situation so we're just gonna accept through this all right fine so, first round, that was about as terrible as you could get. It's very hard for me to imagine how you could have possibly played that worse. But fine, we have another round, right? Let's regroup, focus. We know a lot more information than we did at the beginning of the first round, right? Because we know what the enemy hero comp is. Because they steamrolled us, they're probably going to stay all the same heroes, right? 90% plus of the time they stay the same heroes, unless the map changes dramatically. So I'm probably facing, you know, Echo, Mercy, Kiriko, Orisa, Hanzo. So whatever I feel comfortable playing against that, that's fine. So... <clears throat> that's fine, right? Like, we open this Doomfist, we could probably go back to Doomfist here, right? This is a pretty good Doomfist map, but if I don't feel comfortable with Doomfist, I'm gonna say, 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 Ramatra? Fine, I can say Ramatra. Okay, I've switched Zarya here, so apparently I'm gonna run Zarya out, maybe because you heard that Zarya is an Orisa counter, which you're gonna find out whether that's the case. Okay, now I swap back to Doomfist. Uh, okay, well, I mean, the door's open right now, so we gotta get going, whatever it ends up being. And now I swap D.Va, and now I'm like five, six seconds late to the fight, which is a big deal, right? Like that reduces your chance of winning the game by being slow out the doors. It seems like a little thing. It's not a little thing, right? This five seconds is enough time for me to go out there as the opposing tank and start doing stuff before you can, which is bad for you. But also, why are we playing D.Va right now? 
Is Diva viable in this in this situation? She is, right? Perfectly playable in this situation. But why are you playing Diva? Is it because you're a Diva player? Is it because you're trying to improve a Diva? Or is it because you're just flailing because you don't know what the heck is going on, you don't know what's going wrong, so now you're just swapping through heroes hoping that a hero switch is going to solve your issues. Your issues have nothing to do with the hero that you're picking. They have to do with whether or not you can play the hero you picked well, which is not being demonstrated at all. All right, we're going to fly out here, eat some spam. All right, stepping up. I think this is all good, right? You're stepping up trying to get some space here. Getting an off angle. Okay, this is fine. I, again, I don't have to worry about your backline around. Nobody's threatening them. All right, we try to blow up the Orisa. It's, I don't think it's a great missiles, but we'll, it's fine. All right, Javelin, that's fine. All right, she popped Fortify. Not a lot we can do right now. Just fly, just fly away. Okay, this is not such a great choice. So <coughs> we have decided to try to fly behind them. Um, <coughs> so this is bad. Number one, because at higher ranks, what will happen is their whole team is just going to run into you and just gonna, they're going to kill you. But even ignoring that, the problem is now no one can stop the Orisa from pushing into your team, right? Tanks are designed to be able to create space. They're extremely durable. Your tank, the Orisa could just like spin into your team and force them all off point. What are you going to do about it, though, right? You're just chilling here in the back line. See? Echo's chasing you, right? And now she's burned down half your health. And now she's got you down to 45 health. Was that worth? Was that worth you flying to the back line when you could have just flown back to your team? Right? Remember, you chose to go here. Like... When the Orisa is spinning, right? I don't. First of all, I don't really know why you're advancing right now. She's fortified, so like you can't win this trade right now. But right now, you can be like, hey, you know what? Let me just fly back to my team, and then you're in good shape, right? Your team is capping the point right now. This is a, a good position for you right now. You did everything fine up until this moment in time, and then as soon as you flew away, the whole you're, you see the Orisa is like, okay, cool, <laughs> and then now it goes back to like, I guess I'll just win the point right now. If I saw you do this, I'd literally be like, okay, cool. I will literally just win the point right now because what can you do to stop this when you're sitting in my back line doing literally nothing? Right? And now you're going to be here. Right? You've lost your Moira. You get demacked, or you're going to be demacked soon. There you get demacked, and that's it. And that's the end of your life. So, once again, not ideal, right? Like, it's, it's really surprising to me that you've played like this many hours and it doesn't feel like you have like the basic level of game sense I would expect from tank. Like this doesn't feel like low plat, high gold level gameplay. I truly have no idea how you have not been punished more for the decisions that you make. But all right, you're coming over here, fine. I would note that like you're holding DM here. Let's think for a second. Does it seem likely that that, <coughs> that May and me, and to some extent Tracer, but Tracer's like pretty far away, that May and me are going to force my way through the Orisa, the Hanzo, the Kiriko, and the Mercy? Like, at best, this is a three on four, right? Why don't you just be like, look, I, I saved May or whatever it is, and just go back and go a different way. Why am I trying to force my way into the most durable, right, best, like, obstacle tank in the game? If the Orisa does not want you to walk forwards, you are not walking forwards. They also have a mega health pack here too, which adds to the sustain. This is not the avenue to be attacking right now. But you sort of get away with it, fine, right? You get spun, all right? And now I'm just sitting here in the open, getting obliterated. All right, chase out the Kiriko. So I would recommend, like, look, if you're trying to bunch out, try to stay in high ground, right? So you can kind of shoot here, go after the Hanzo. You really don't want to be fighting the Orisa here as a general rule, right? But they popped copy. Dragon. Okay, fine. Just chill, right? Kill the kill the pylon. You don't need to use missiles to kill pylon. Pylon only has 100 health. Diva does 144 damage a second with cannons. You don't need to use missiles to kill pylon. That's a waste. But you are super low right now. I don't know why you take this fight. Like this is a good example where I'm like, I don't think you play Diva, right? As Diva, I look at this like, I'm not gonna win this fight. I, I have almost no chance of winning this fight, even with perfect track, even with aimbot level tracking. I do not think I can win this fight. Right? You have 344 health and you still a Storm Arrow, and you have no Matrix. There's no way to win this fight. Like, you need to know that. You need to know that if you're going to play a hero. If you're going to play a hero and you're going to try to like, play in, in higher, higher ranks, you need to bend, like, how many times have you fought Diva versus Hanzo before? I don't know, 5 times, 10 times, 20 times, 50 times? Well, I fought Diva versus Hanzo, like, 10,000 times, right? I know, can I win this fight or not? You don't know that fight. You have half health right now with no no matrix and no missiles, and he has support here. <laughs> like you have zero chance of winning this fight, even if you're the best diva player in the world. I want to emphasize like just how clearly you had no chance at winning that fight. But you took the fight. But you didn't have to take the fight, right? 
at the moment, even after wasting missiles right now, you'd be like, oh, Hans is here? Well, I could just fly back, right? I could fly back, I could take cover. I could fly in here, get the Mega, use Matrix to keep myself alive. You got options. The worst possible option here is committing to try to kill the Hanzo, right? And that feels like a general lack of diva game sense. Like, you don't understand who is actually vulnerable, who I can actually fight and kill. All right, we're coming forwards. So, thinking about this, all right. First, I need my whole team to be here. Is my team here? My team is not here. So I need to wait like another like five to 10 seconds for them to get here. Then I need to think, how do I possibly crack this? Because walking through this is going to suck. One option is to fly up, take this off angle, try to poke them off. Or you go out and take this off angle. Eventually, right, especially because their team's going to be ultra confident because they're steamrolling you, you'll probably find somebody on their team who is overextended and you can get a pick, right? So we're going to chill here. Don't take any extra damage right now. Like, there's no reason. You're missing 200 health. Why am I fighting with 200 less health when I don't need to? Like, it, it's like you don't like, it's like you don't like being at full health. You're like, yeah, I don't know. 500 health is good enough, right? I know D.Va has 725, but like, yeah, who cares? I don't need, I don't need the extra health. You need the extra health. <laughs> you definitely need the extra health. Your team wants to heal you, right? You're going to probably leave here when your team's going to try. Yeah, see? Your team is coming over here to try to heal you. Your play is truly like crazy. Like it's it like I, there's no other word that can do. Like n nothing that you're doing makes any sense to me. It's really hard for me to like understand. Like like if this was bronze, this would make total sense, right? If someone was like new to the game, like didn't have a good feel, didn't understand things, like they they get healed by their supports, fine. You have two thousand hours. I, I, it's very hard for me to 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 explain. I would note here, remember what I mentioned earlier, is that eventually their team is going to step up and make mistakes. This Echo was out of position. You, If you were here, waiting for your team, getting healed, you could have killed the Echo right now. But instead, now you're over here, your Moira's already dead, right? You're going to get stuck out in the open, and you're going to get demeched again. All right, last chance. So, we got time here, right? We got, we got 15 seconds here. We do not need to rush this. We do not need to rush this, okay? Don't do anything crazy that, that will result in you getting demacked or anything nutty like that, right? I think sitting in the middle here is not a great idea. This is a crazy plan. I am shocked that it even got to. I'm gonna tell you rule, rule number one for D.Va Bombs. Don't use D.Va Bombs to get kills. Use D.Va Bomb as a second life. I know it's really fun and exciting when you get bomb kills, it almost never happens, and it scales really poorly. At higher ranks, people never die to D.Va Bomb. Like, I will play literally like 10 games of D.Va, and I will kill maybe one person with the D.Va Bomb over all 10 games. It just doesn't happen. D.Va Bomb takes forever to explode, and it's extremely telegraphed. You should never expect to kill people with D.Va Bombs. What D.Va Bomb is great at is using it to be crazy aggressive. You'd be aggressive on their backline, then they, they pour all the resources to try to kill you. You pop Matrix, right? Stay alive. You fight some more. They pour some more resources in. They finally demech you, and you're like, oh, great, we've won the fight. Then you pop Diva Bomb, and they're like, oh, shoot, now we need to run to cover. Then you pop Mech again, and you keep applying pressure. That is the way that you use Diva Bomb. Trying to chuck Diva Bomb here into this situation is nuts. I'm actually curious, how does it end up even killing people? Like, <coughs> she, has, she has GA right now! She has GA right now, right? So the Mercy should not have died to this, right? The Kiriko could Swift Step or Suzu or, uh, this is so painful, right? It's like, there is no reason for the Kiriko to die here. <laughs> like literally, she could just leave, like and she knows, she definitely knows, right? She's like, oh, okay, don't, she's not worried about it. She's trying to finish the kill. She could Suzu here and she does it just like a little bit too slow. She could just Swift Step away and play it safe. There's no reason for this to have gotten any kills. Don't feel even the slightest bit proud for these kills. You did not deserve either one of those kills, right? It is very, very, very bad. All right, Echo popped, right? Most important thing is to prevent her from getting uh, ult charge up, try to burn it down. Um, you do have a significant sustain advantage right now. You need to kill this. So, I'm pretty sure you don't understand how to burst kill people with Diva. I have a guide. It will be linked. Please watch it. This is like a 99% kill right now if you just pop missiles. I, yeah, this is uh, pretty rough to not... And then he gets the Mega, and then... I mean, you just don't know how to duel people. Right? Yeah. Like, if you cannot kill a Hanzo who has, what, 120 health right now? 
if you can't kill a Hanzo, right, with 118 health and it just, uh, I mean, like, I, there's no, there's no tips for me other than activate missiles. You activate missiles, he dies. It's, it's that easy. Oh, man. Okay. So, well, obviously the replay is done. The overarching advice I have for you is stop swapping heroes. Stop swapping heroes. Pick one hero that you want to get better at. Probably Doom. And just play the hell out of Doom. Just play Doom every game. Play Doom if they have Sombra. Play Doom if they have Brig. Play Doom if they have Risa. Play Doom if they have Roadhog. Play Doom and all the, just play Doom all the time. And that is how you're going to improve as fast as possible. It's just constantly forcing Doom all the time. And then you will learn how to play Doom. I would also recommend that you watch guides for playing those heroes. I don't play Doomfist. I don't have a Doomfist guide. I do have guides for for D.Va, right? I do have guides for Ramatra, right? I play them in GM. I don't play Doomfist in GM, so I can't help you. But there are plenty of other people who play Doomfist. You can watch the various guides out there and pay attention to those guides. And then watch your reviews back and think, what was I thinking here? Right? When you make a mistake, think, what was I thinking and how do I avoid making that mistake in the future? Because so much of your behavior demonstrates like a very, very limited awareness as to what is going on at that point. It's almost like you don't care what your team is doing at all. Right? It's like, I'm going to spawn, I'm going to run at the enemy, I'm going to activate my abilities to run at the enemy, and then I'm either going to kill them or am I going to die. And then I'm going to respawn, and then I'm going to do it again. And if I die again, I'm going to swap to another randomly selected hero, and hopefully that randomly selected hero will change things, and then I'm going to go and I'm going to die again. I, I, I don't even know how you ever win fights. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm almost curious to boot up another replay. I have no idea how you win fights, ever, based on what I've seen so far from Doomfist and Ramatra and D.Va. Like, you never look for a good opportunity to take a fight. You just, uh, like, fight, like, the first person you see, basically, right? Regardless of your health situation, where your team is, whether or not you have cooldowns, whether or not they have anything that can directly counter your abilities, you just you just go in, right? So, again, summary. One, pick one hero. Two, watch a guide on the hero if you haven't already. Three, pay attention. Be conscientious about why you choose to do things. Think. Look at the scoreboard, look at the hero comps, understand who on their team can I bully? Who on their team can I actually have good fights against? Not try to fight any of the random heroes at a time. Then look back at your team, be like, is my team ready to support me? No, be patient, just wait a few seconds. And it's fine, right? Let them come to me and help me get kills. And I help them get kills, right? At this level, people make mistakes all the time. If you're just a little bit patient, if you wait a few more seconds, I'm pretty sure you can see, oh, that person's out of position. And then you can go and you can punish them. And then, you know, you can flip that and use that to win fights. You win enough fights, you win games. All right, I'm going to stop there. Hopefully this is helpful.